Hi there, I'm Jeppe, I'm the design manager of Lego Technic and I'm about to show you the first half year of uh, the Lego Technic uh, assortment. First I'll start with the smaller price points and then we move up to the bigger ones. This is the smallest one we have, the uh, two rotor helicopter, or twin rotor helicopter. It has a swivel wheel in the front so that you really can play with it like this. It moves very maneuverable when you play with it. Then it has uh, double rotors that uh, when you spin with it, you can spin it in the back. And this is really uh, really awesome because normally kids are used to being ha having to do like this to uh, play with the Lego models. But because of our gearing system, we can do this instead. And then in the back it also has a small cargo bay that you can open. So the smallest skew in, uh, in the Technic assortment first half year, the uh, twin rotor helicopter. Next model is the uh, snowmobile, which is uh, this green and black monster. And uh, we have the tracks in the back that are really uh, smooth running, so that you can play with it on a, on a smooth uh, surface. Then there's a steering system in the front, also with integrated suspension, independent suspension on each side. And this is actually incorporating the new elements that we have developed for uh, our new steering and uh, suspension system. Moving into uh, the pullbacks, we have the uh, next wave of pullbacks. One is the uh, off-road racer. Uh, this lime green one, it's actually a Formula off-road, which is a crazy uh, sport they are doing on Iceland, driving up vertical um, vertical hills. So very powerful, and uh, we also added a small winch in the front. So uh, this time there's an extra function to the model compared to uh, to the previous pullbacks, and has of course the uh, the pullback function as we know it. The second pullback is this one the uh, Formula 1 or the uh, Champion Racer. It's uh, black and orange and it has this really cool detail with uh, the labels. This is true chrome that we added to the labels, something that the kids in the test uh, really loved. And uh, they, this color scheme is something that the, uh, the boys uh, selected over a lot of other color schemes. It has also, of course, the, uh, the pullback, pullback functionality. And then moving into something completely new in Technic, it's a box, it's a mid price point, where you actually get these three models in one box. We call it the construction crew. And this is a, a set for eight year olds that they can actually wish for and get under the Christmas tree because this is a mid price point. But because we split it up into three separate models that can play together in the same scenario, they uh, suddenly can wish for a really big box and it's possible for an eight year old to play with it. That's also why we're adding these extra elements, the rocks, that they can uh, dig up and they can put it into the, uh, the truck and they can use the wheel loader. They all have the classic uh, Technic functionality that we're used to. The truck has uh, steering, the US truck. It has also a tipping dump in the back, like this. So you can actually put in these bricks into the dump and tip it off if you, if you want to. The other model is the excavator, where you have tracks, also very smooth running. You can uh, use the shovel in the front, so you can actually dig with it, like this. And you can also spin the superstructure of the model. So a lot of functions in a, in a small model. The third model, the wheel loader, which also incorporates the new tire that we developed for this assortment, uh, the medium truck tire, has articulated steering. You can raise and lower the, uh, the boom in the front, and you can also tip the shovel. So it also has a lot of functionalities. So all these models can actually play with these bricks that we put into the, uh, into the box also. So a really a good playset for, for the 8 year old and uh, a part of our uh, second wave of recruitment strategy. And now moving into uh, the bigger models and also the ones for the uh, a bit higher in age, we're moving into uh, to 9 plus. The hot rod is also something never seen before in LEGO Technic. In this model we incorporated new colors, this, uh, this light blue color scheme, which is something our fans are going to go uh, really crazy about. It has uh, the cool functions of a spinning, spinning motor, working a V6 engine, it has steering in the front, and then it has this magic function that the kids in the test really were amazed by, that you can actually uh, attach a roof to the model by doing this then it suddenly changes character. So, a really nice function for the kids. It's a classic container truck. 
it's uh, very classic to uh, to the European market, especially these triangular shaped uh, containers is something you see in a lot of a uh, lot of cities in in Europe. It has several functions. You can uh, use the steering in the front, and this model actually also incorporates six of the new uh, medium truck tire, and it has uh, the possibility of uh, either using the uh, tipping of the container like this and then you can actually tip it all the way over and uh, <clears throat> put down your cargo the other function which you select on this gear shifter is actually the rear supporting legs which I can put down and the nice thing about this is when once you have put down the supporting legs and you switch back to the other function then it suddenly becomes possible to not tip the container but actually to set it down and then you can detach the chains and then you can leave the container behind and drive off and this is actually a very authentic function this is how it works in real life also so very magic functionality and the great thing about this model is also its power functions upgradable so if you buy the power functions box and you add it then the functionalities i just showed you in the back with the container becomes electrified and motorized and now for the biggest model in our assortment the first half year flagship this is the cargo plane and there's gone a lot of pride into this model from the design team because, uh, as I will show you, there's a lot of functionalities in this model that the kids really loved in the test. This model has beaten every other first half year flagship we have done the last three years. So it's uh, bound to be become very popular. It has uh, some manual functions, which is, you can't use the motor for this, but you have the ailerons and the uh, elevators that you can control with this joystick. Quite magical, actually. There's so, such a long way from the joystick to where the action is actually happening. The other function is that's manual also is the, um, the air brakes or the flaps that you can extend like this so that you can uh, brake the airplane when you uh, land or for, for takeoff. And then we have all the power functions functions in this model because this model comes with a battery box with a motor integrated into the model. And uh, it is a cargo plane, so uh, I'll start you by showing the cargo base. In the back, we have a cargo bay. Opens like this. And you can close it again. And what you actually can see in there is there's actually space. There's actually space for cargo in here, so you can put in stuff. The other function, because this is quite a special cargo plane, this also has a cargo bay in the front. So you can actually lift the full cockpit and then you can see through the airplane and this is where we have the battery box also if you want to change the batteries. Another power functions function that we have on the model is also the landing gear that you can uh, retract like this. And it actually folds up into the airplane so that it is hidden up here. Uh, the last function, which is quite important for an airplane this size, is actually we have spinning rotors. And that means that you can actually fly around with it when you play with it. And that really adds to the play value also. So, uh, the full first half year assortment from LEGO Technic. Hope you enjoyed the presentation. Looking forward to presenting second half year for you, uh, but that'll be uh, in a later stage. See you.